All right, friends, Coach Mike here with the third type of commercial copy. We already know that there, is, there are two types of commercial copy, problem solution and solution. But now there's a third type of commercial copy called slice of life, slice of life as illustrated here. Okay, so slice of life copy is usually done between two or more people in a commercial. Like, for instance, the happy Honda guy, right? He's in it with a couple other people. He's in someone's home helping them put a lighting fixture up. Uh, he's helping them take their refrigerator, the washer and dryer off the back of the delivery truck, and then wild things begin to happen. Flow from progressive. All of the progressive, mostly all of the progressive commercials are considered to be slice of life, meaning everyday real life type people in everyday life situations. That's basically what slice of life is. There are variations, of course, but I like to give you the fundamentals, the basics. Okay, now let me show you what it looks like because directions probably won't be written on the cue card, very few. So the day you get the audition, right, or they, they'll tell you, go to LA Casting, uh, the sides are there. Okay, so it's going to be given to you this on an eight and a half by 11 white one sheet. All right, it's going to give you an explanation. Right, of what they're looking for in the scene. I'll just give you the short version. And then it's all here on the page. Now when you walk in the room, in the audition room, they're going to explain to you exactly how they want this delivered. They're going to tell you exactly how it is that they want this delivered. What this happens to be about is there is a husband and wife team. They just had a newborn, right? And they go to uh, a department store, Walmart or Kmart or Target, and they go to pick up these supplies, as you can see. Child-proof locks, corner guards, the gate to block off the stairs, right? Outlet covers, uh, extra diapers, nanny cam. So they're actually at the casting, they're sitting in two chairs, and, and there's a steering wheel that the husband is holding. They already went in the store and bought all of these things. But because he wants to be the world's greatest dad, right, then he gets in the car and he starts running the laundry list just to make sure that they have everything. And she, he is driving her crazy. She's ready to get rid of him, right? And so he's just making sure. He's just checking. He's kind of, he's like frantic almost, excited, really excited. He wants to be the world's greatest dad. Right, and so after he finishes driving her crazy, like again, see, so we got the childproof locks. Yes, and the corner guards. And what about the gate to block off the stairs? We got the gate. She's like nuts with him by now. And the outlet covers, yes. So again, they're in the car, everything's loaded in the car. He's for some reason running the long laundry list, right? Just going crazy. And the reason is because he wants to be the world's greatest dad, right? He doesn't want to miss a beat with his newborn. First child, right? And so, yes, honey, we got him. And we'll pick up the nanny cam. Yes, we'll pick up the nanny cam on the way home. So as it was told in the casting, all right, he goes to start the car, puts it in reverse, and they both look at each other and scream, the baby! Right? And they had to keep, the actors have to keep their heads locked on each other and scream, right? They're terrified. They left the baby in the shopping basket, buckled into the seat. Oh, Lord. They're about to drive off and leave the baby. That's supposed to be the humor in this slice of life piece. So every audition is going to be different. This is just an example of slice of life type of copy. When you go to the casting, all you got to do is be extremely familiar with the piece. You're going to do that by just going over this. Just go over it. Make yourself really, really familiar with it. Do you have to have it memorized? No. You have to be very, very familiar with it. Familiarity leads to memorization anyway, right? So the more you're familiar with the story, see this as a story, just as you do problem solution copy and solution copy. Slice of life, same thing. You've got to see this as a story. The more familiar you are with the story, the motivation, what's going on here in this piece. I like to call it a story, right? Helps you put your story frame mindset on.
it's going to be easier for you to remember it anyway when you walk in the room. Plus, you walk in a room, boom, got your best friend here, a cue card. They don't want you looking at this unless they say so. They don't want you to look at this 50% of the time. 80-20 uh, is great. 80% eye line to lens, 20% you're doing these quick glances over to pick up your next line when your partner's reading, right? So you don't have to stare at the lens of the camera, right, the whole time when you're reading, when, you're, when, you're, when your partner's reading. When your partner's reading her line, you're gonna quick glance your eyes over. But if you get this thing the day before the audition, which most of the time you do, if you have the, the sides that you can get from LA Casting, Actors Access, wherever your audition's coming from, then it should be easy for you to work on this the rest of the day, overnight, in the morning, right? If it's a same day audition, again, an hour's fine. You, uh, an hour's plenty of time to work on this piece here. All right, or whatever piece you get, of course, when you go into casting. All right, slice of life. There it is, third type of commercial copy. Coach Mike here. Thank you for watching. Let's get ready for the next lesson.